welcome everyone to a yet another topic on J unit now in this one we are going to talk about what exactly is in J unit uh, tool all about and how we can do various kind of test implementations with the help of J unit now in this one specifically we are going to talk about like some tutorials or some demos on how to implement J unit with Eclipse now let's talk about what exactly is the J unit tool all about like what are the different things we can implement with the help of this tool here so J unit is basically a kind of unit testing framework which is there for the Java so it's kind of a default offering for the Java programming language that we can use the J unit for the unit testing framework for performing the unit testing now the main benefit of uh, the J unit is like it's using the same syntax like a Java programming language so it makes it very easy for a Java developer to write and execute the test cases so most of the times when the developers are going to work on the Java programming languages so they prefer that J unit as a uh, default unit testing framework for them because they get the language advantage they get the easily integrations on the Eclipse so those benefits helps the developers to decide J unit specifically for writing the test cases and running the test cases there now whenever these test cases are actually being executed whenever you add up a new piece of source code so uh, all the unit test cases will be executed will be again executed there every time when you run a new build so all the unit test cases gets executed but you also need to take care that if you are adding up a new functionalities you also have to add the corresponding test cases to that so increasing more and more code will uh, will be done by the developers but at the same time you have to sync or you have to keep your test cases up to date also and as a part of every build each and every test cases will be re-executed every time you're doing the build five times six times a day every time the uh, all unit test cases will be executed over there and the response will be given back right now let's talk about what exactly is a unit testing now unit testing refers to the testing of the small small modules or the small piece of chunks or the codes here now it's basically used to have the early identification of the defects and the bugs because you cannot simply rely on the uh, QA team to perform the testing and then provide the feedback whereas on the uh, with the help of this unit testing framework we can immediately get the uh, feedback right away once we are running the test cases we immediately we will be able to know like these are the different test cases which we have got over here now the developers uh, don't even have to spend uh, more time on fixing the bugs and issues because these test cases will help them with the easy and the fast feedback so according to that they can fix the bugs and they can uh, take the decision whether the source code is working fine as expected or there is any kind of issues as such present with this one so unit test casing is something which is very important from the developers perspective also because it helps the developers to understand that they whether they have written a successful code or if there is any kind of scope of issues or bugs over here also it uh, the successful unit test cases uh, increases the overall confidence of the developers because it uh, increases the overall uh, performance and the quality of the product also so by having the uh, successful executions of the unit test cases developers can understand that yes the source code is working fine as expected and there is no scope of bugs or any issues as such with this source code here so that's the main benefit which we get with unit testing that with this fast feedback channel we will be able to take uh, the decisions whether the source code is ready for the production environment deployment or not so that's a main benefit which we get with the unit testing here now of course this can be done in two ways manual testing and automated testing now in case of manual testing you have to do this thing manually within a manual tester or a manual testing approach and in this one you will not be depending on any kind of uh, automated tool which can be scheduled or which can be executed in non interactive manner on the other hand automated test case is something which uh, is used to be executed using the uh, tool and uh, it is something which is being done so that you will be able to get the complete automation there is no manual efforts which is required as such you are going to have like complete uh, deployment and automations being done as such in this case so automated testing is something in which you will be giving more focus on the automated automation tools you may be having one or a couple of tools which using which you can write the automated test cases and you can perform the complete automation in case of manual testing it's quite uh, you know less reliable because you are dependent on the uh, a particular uh, tester 
which can ha perform the testing uh, according to his efforts and it's quite uh, time consuming also because you can only run the test cases for probably eight to nine hours per a day whereas on the other hand the automated test case is something which is re quite reliable because it does not depends on a human so, uh, so requirement so it can be done like 24 cross 7 so anytime you can run those uh, test cases and that's the reason why these test cases are quite faster as compared to any other manual testing approach here so j unit test cases and the automated test cases really helps the developers and the qa professionals to test the source code much faster as compared to the manual testing now the next one which we got over here is the j unit test cases using the eclipse because from the command line we saw like using the command line we can do but we got like so many test cases which is available there so it's not easy for us to run those one by one so we will be doing it through the eclipse so that we can see like how the execution can be really done and we can get a hold of those particular components so let's go back to the eclipse and this time we are going to run the test cases in the eclipse here now let's create a new project again here J unit project right and uh, finish so a new J project a J unit project will be created now in this one you can see like there is no uh, uh, executables libraries for the J unit but you can include it now also but I'm going to do it later on so I'll go for the J unit project class right so this is a kind of a test class here so I'm not going to put the null or the public void main over here in this one so finish now in this case what I'm going to do is like I'm going to you know replace this content over here so uh, with this uh, particular ones and uh, going to have some basic code base added up over here so I'm going to import some uh, particular J unit uh, libraries over here so over here like org.j unit I'm going to import these ones and I got like this class uh, over here J unit uh, you know project so I just have to rename it a little bit so that it can be the name of the actual class uh, name here so that's fine so uh, everything is fine but the only thing is that we are getting some failures and problems over here because it's not able to identify these uh, specific uh, J unit related executables like the functions and the methods for this one again the previous like previous case you have to do the uh, particular addition of the library to the build path so that you will be able to have like uh, these automatically resolved over here in this one right so you can see now that David unit 4 started reflecting over here in this case and you do not got any kind of errors now over here in this one so you can simply save this and now you can you are good to go for running the executions over here so you can simply say like right click over here run as and J unit test and when you do that on the left hand side you will be able to get a little bit different viewpoint over here which says like yes test underscore j unit is something which is executed perfectly fine if for any reason let's say like i change the value of string one here as in string one just an typo error I'm trying to do here so that I can show you that how the test cases really fails so assert equals is basically helping you to find out that if the comparison between the uh, two attributes is correct that means that the uh, you know the inputs which we are putting up and whatever the output we are getting it's both the same here when you do that you will say like there is a failure over here to the test cases now I'm seeing the failure trace over here so I'll just move this one to the console view so it says like it should be like string but I got like string one over here which is causing the problem here because of the typo error which I did the whole execution of the test cases got failed so I'm just going to revert my changes back here and again run the test cases it will all be okay right now again over here so that's the main reason that how the execution really happens in the overall mechanism and the system can be implemented over here in this case so that's how we basically go on and we execute some J unit test cases here so this is the basic uh, demos which we did about the J unit and how exactly it goes for the implementation of the unit test cases here. So that's it for this topic. Thanks everyone. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.